Welcome back, everyone. It's Charlie. Star Wars just made a huge announcement about a bunch of Mandoverse stuff coming in the next couple of years. There's a second Mandalorian and Grogu movie, Ahsoka Season 2, The Mandalorian Season 4, and the Thrawn movie, that Heir to the Empire movie. So we'll break it all down and how it all fits in the timeline together because they did leave a couple of questions. In traditional Star Wars fashion, they make announcements, but they also raise a bunch of questions in those announcements. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to get all the videos. Of course, I'll do episode videos for everything they wind up releasing and big videos for the movies that they wind up releasing too. But literally just this morning, big surprise, Star Wars made the announcement. It's mostly about the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, but within that announcement about that upcoming movie, there were like three or four smaller announcements. Lots of zooming, enhancing, and like rereading this paragraph of stuff that they released. Yo, what y'all doing? So the Mandalorian and Grogu movie is meant to be totally separate from the Thrawn movie that Dave Filoni was announced to be doing a little while ago. Jon Favreau is going to direct the Mandalorian and Grogu. Pretty safe bet having Jon Favreau do it. He's done at least a couple movies before that have earned a little bit of money. Like he literally started the MCU with Robert Downey Jr. in the first Iron Man movie. But that Mandalorian and Grogu movie is literally meant to be the next Star Wars movie that we see in theaters. It does not mean that they're canceling The Mandalorian Season 4. According to Deadline, in their reporting, they followed up and they said that they're still making The Mandalorian Season 4. It's just happening after The Mandalorian and Grogu movie now. And on the other side of that, because they just announced this Mando and Grogu movie being their next big movie, it means that they've shifted the release dates of all the other movies that they announced last year. If you don't remember, rewind to last year in 2023, at Star Wars Celebration, they announced several upcoming movies. All those have been delayed, and they've opted for sanity, like they've chosen their most popular two characters right now to be their first new movie since 2019. Personally, I think that's a no-brainer for them. Like, there were a couple controversial choices, like, who are we going to have be the next Star Wars movie? Like, what's going to get people's asses into theaters? Why don't we go with our two most popular characters and one of our most proven directors? A lot of their talk the last couple of months made it sound like the Rey movie was going to be the next big movie that they actually do. There's the origin of the Jedi movie that's being made at the beginning of the timeline. There's the Thrawn movie that Dave Filoni is also doing. And they're still doing that Taika Waititi Star Wars movie that they haven't really talked about that much recently. Before all this, if Star Wars had been looking for a safe bet for their first big movie, I would have said they'd probably just move the Thrawn movie up and do that sooner. But it sounds like Star Wars was given an edict to get a movie into theaters as soon as possible with the strongest director, the strongest material, strongest characters as possible that people just generally tend to enjoy. And that wound up being Jon Favreau, The Mandalorian, and Grogu. Now, I do think the Thrawn movie is going to be a banger when they eventually do get to that. But there were a couple issues with the Ahsoka series and the setting of the Thrawn character up. Just generally, audiences aren't quite as familiar with him. So I think that's why they delayed that a little bit to give them some more time during Ahsoka Season 2 to set him up a little bit better. And even though Dave Filoni has kind of become the new Kevin Feige at Star Wars, which we've all been expecting to happen for a long time, he isn't quite as proven as a director or quite as experienced as a live-action director as Jon Favreau. So Jon Favreau is just the safe bet between the two of them to direct that next movie. Dave Filoni will eventually direct his Thrawn movie. But you can see what's happening behind the scenes here. Like, evil Emperor Overlord Bob Iger is telling the Star Wars people, get a movie into theaters as fast as possible that's as strong as possible. And none of those other movies were ready to go. So that's where they're like, okay, what are we going to do? Well, we'll do a Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Seems like a safe bet. Pretty much all the trades are reporting that that Jon Favreau Mandalorian Grogu movie is going to start filming later this year. They didn't list a release date, but if they really move, they might be able to release it by Christmas 2025. If not then, then they'll probably just delay it till Christmas 2026. Pretty much everything in Hollywood got delayed a little bit longer because of all the strikes. Normally I would say 2025, but it could be 2026. Inside that larger announcement about the new movie, they also revealed Dave Filoni is still doing Ahsoka Season 2. It's confirmed now. Pretty much everybody that worked on it, like Rosario Dawson, even Hayden Christensen, were pretty sure they were going to get a Season 2. Here's the thing, though. They didn't say whether or not it's releasing before or after the Grogu movie, but it takes them about a year to turn seasons of those shows around, and Dave Filoni was working on scripts before the strike started last year. The report was late last year that they were almost done with those scripts. Like, they still need a little bit more work before they could actually start filming. 
some of those characters from Ahsoka might cameo during the Mandalorian and Grogu movie, but they're saving their mega crossover, their Avengers Endgame like Star Wars Endgame, the Mandalorian Endgame for the Thrawn movie, which isn't happening till a couple years down the road. That means that the Mandalorian and Grogu movie will mostly be just them with a couple cameos from other characters like the Mandalorians like Bo-Katan, maybe a Luke Skywalker cameo, maybe Ezra Bridger, Hera. But remember, right now in the timeline, Ahsoka, the rest of that cast, is basically stuck in the Peridia galaxy with a few exceptions. So those characters that are stuck in the other galaxy, like Ahsoka, for instance, probably won't figure into the plot of the Mando Grogu movie that much. Which is why it's a little bit easier for them to film Ahsoka Season 2 this year while they're also filming the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Most of the Mando Grogu movie will involve the Mandalorian's Grogu learning about Thrawn, some of the other plot details that would have normally been covered during the Mandalorian season 4, with some other main villain for the movie who is not Thrawn. Now, like, Thrawn will probably figure some way into the movie, but because they're saving the big culmination of this whole arc for the Thrawn movie, that means that New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi style, Thrawn is their emperor in this equation. He won't be the main big bad in this first new movie. My early theory right now is that they'll just introduce a new character from the lore from this part of the timeline that we haven't seen on the shows before. It could literally be anybody, so let me know in the comments if it's going to be a new character, who do you want to be the main villain of this Mando Grogu movie? Keep in mind that it could also be a Force-sensitive person too. We got all those undead Night Sisters that came back with Thrawn and the other Night Sisters. Like all those caskets seem like they contained the dead bodies of Night Sisters that they were going to be raising. Moving on, I've already done a bunch of videos about Ahsoka Season 2, so I'll post the links down in the description below and at the end of this, but the plot of that won't change that much because of the Mando and Grogu movie. Remember, they're mostly stuck in that other galaxy, so they'll just be following up with everything that they tease at the end of Season 1, all those big cliffhangers. Ahsoka, Sabine, Hu Yang, Shin Hati making it back to the main galaxy somehow, more Anakin Skywalker, young Ahsoka flashbacks, more Force Ghost Anakin Skywalker in present day helping Ahsoka. Hayden Christensen said that all of his cameos in the past year or so, like between Obi-Wan Kenobi coming back on Ahsoka, basically reinvigorated his acting career. Like he signed with the new agency for representation after Ahsoka season one happened. So he's definitely coming back. They still have to figure out if they want to recast Balin's skull or pay off his storyline with the Mortis Gods in some other way. But Dave Filoni did reveal that they will pay off his Mortis Gods storyline somehow. There's also that teaser with Thrawn, the Night Sisters establishing their base of operations on Dathomir in the main galaxy, beginning to raise the undead Night Sisters, Thrawn beginning to marshal the collective forces, the different factions of the Shadow Council from around the galaxy, the Remnant Empire. And they have revealed that they're not going to be giving a bunch of the plot from Ahsoka to Mando and Grogu. Most of that for now is just going to stay on the Ahsoka Season 2 series with like a little bit of crossover. Like Mando and Grogu start to figure out what's going on with Thrawn. But all the stuff they set up on Ahsoka, they'll continue to follow up on in Ahsoka Season 2. If Ahsoka Season 2 is released before the Mando Grogu movie, then right after the Mando Grogu movie would either be Skeleton Crew Season 2 because they're getting ready to release Season 1 if they give that a Season 2. It could be a one-off season, but that's meant to be connected to the Mandalorian in the Ahsoka series in this part of the timeline. So like those characters will eventually show up in the Thrawn movie. Because we haven't seen the series yet, we don't know exactly how it's going to connect with the storyline that's happening on Mando in Ahsoka right now, but we should learn pretty soon about that. There might be a couple other spin-off TV series that they release, but then next obviously would be The Mandalorian Season 4, which would connect all the Thrawn storylines with each show, all the characters meeting, and they probably end Mando Season 4 in a cliffhanger when the Thrawn movie is beginning. Then the Thrawn movie happens. It's their big movie version of Heir to the Empire. It starts probably like Revenge of the Sith. That's my early theory. Like they start in the middle of a giant space battle. Stuff that you could only do with a big movie level budget. And they're not going to release the Thrawn movie till at least one year after the Mandalorian and Grogu movie. Maybe a little bit longer. It might be two years between movies. And all the TV shows fill the gaps between that. Now that doesn't count the Acolyte TV show, The Bad Batch Season 3, Tales of the Jedi, any other Star Wars spinoff shows that aren't connected to everything else. But basically what's happened is the Star Wars people accelerated the Mandoverse line of movies and they're doing them first before they shift to other parts of the timeline because they are the safe bet for them. Which I honestly think is the path of sanity. Like if anybody had to pick what the next Star Wars movie was going to be, it would probably be something with Grogu and Mando. 
I'm sure there are going to be a thousand other questions just based on this announcement. Like, there's so many things that the Star Wars people did not answer. So post all your big questions in the comments below, and I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. They didn't say when Skeleton Crew or the Acolyte series are premiering this year, but they'll be the big live-action Star Wars series later this year. We'll probably get the first big trailer for one of those in the next couple of months at some point. Links for all my Star Wars videos down in the description below. Click here to learn more about what's going on with Ahsoka Season 2, and click here for that brand new Deadpool 3 teaser trailer. Thank you so much for watching, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys in the next one.